What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're doing something a little bit special. We're checking back in on Vulcanoids. It's been years since we've played this game. I think literally. Uh, if you've never seen this game before, it is a steampunk post-apocalyptic game where you are expected as the last crewman of a submarine to go aboard the land that has been taken over by robots and all kinds of gnarly little bastards and you're trying to basically figure out what happened and you're rebuilding this little beauty right here a steamship that drills through the earth kind of master like shredder style I guess and so anyways welcome back on in my name is Splattercat I'm glad to have you uh, you, if you wanted to get this game after watching in this brief little preview, you can check it out in the description down below. But anyways, here we are. The volcanic eruption just kind of went off. Like, so everything's sort of covered in volcanic ash right now and looking kind of gross. Uh, we have a couple of jobs. I already went through and played the tutorial and built this thing up a little bit so that, like, we can all hang out together and kind of, like, see stuff we haven't seen yet. I installed these little gun turrets on the side. Of <laughs> it's so badass, dude. I installed these little gun turrets on the side of my drill ship. I haven't decided what the name of my drill ship is yet, though. I haven't, like, made the call. But at some point, I think I'm going to. Uh, it wants me to approach an enemy drill ship. And we've got to steal some parts so that we can upgrade our drill ship. So basically, we're doing some Grand Theft Auto style nonsense right now. We're going to run up on some robots. And we're going to jack them for their craft so that we can come back. And then we can get our ship all loaded out with their stuff. So basically, we're running over here. We're stealing their rims. And then we're going to brag about how we worked super hard to add rims to ours and how we earned it. So off we go. Oh, I see their drill ship coming up on the horizon. Belching smoke up into the air. All right, let's go have a look. Just kind of see what we can pull off here. I think I'm going to try to wipe them. Okay, so it looks like there's three or four of them over there. And all I've got is, like, my trusty little Nagant pistol. Actually, it looks more like a Peacemaker than a Nagant. But anyways, I don't know exactly how I want to pull this off. It looks like they're going out on, like, away mission right now. Are they, like, attacking my base or something? Oh, that one's got like a shotgun, dude. I don't like that. Uh-uh. I feel a little outgunned right now. I'm not going to lie. Is that one dead? I need it to be dead. There we go. Drop them real fast. I got beat up pretty good. Are they still alive? Let me finish them off real fast just to make sure they don't get back up. They have like this tendency to get back up. Also, I'm going to do some steampunk drugs. All right. These animations are all new since the last time that I played the game. Uh, the last time I played the game, you just pushed a button and got healed, if I remember correctly. So that's cool. You like to see the new things going on. Uh, what is this over here? So like a smelter. Do I break it? I don't know. I don't know if I break this stuff or not. Either way, we need to get inside, so where's the door at? Do they have a door? Oh, no, dude. Drop those ones with headshots. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Oh, there he is. Oh, we are getting toasted. I need cover. Devilade! Devilade! Woo! Okay, all right. That's uh, where they were. They were, I mean, they came out through over here, so I guess the door is right here. Yeah, there it is. All right, so we can destroy this. Do I have to smack it with, like, this right here? Or can I take it apart with this? Okay, it's at 74%. Let's keep wailing away on it. Hopefully more of them don't come out to defend this thing. I don't know if it has the capability to manufacture its own guards or not. There we go. The door's down. All right, we're inside. We're inside. Okay, let's jack their stuff real fast. They've got a scrap station. Damn, they got all kinds of cool stuff. They got 500 turret ammo. I'll definitely take that. They got some plates. They got some coal over here. That's my coal now, dude. Okay. I don't like how that guy was like, ow, ow. Can you die, please? Thank you. All right, I think this thing over here is producing more of them or something. I don't know if I need to pull out the core or what I need to do. But they are producing reinforcements at the moment. Yep, there it is right there. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's break this thing. How much is each hit doing? Enough. We'll kill it. It's okay. We've got this. All right, let's break this thing real fast so more of them don't come along and ruin my day. Because being spawned in close proximity to these dudes was the worst thing ever. All right, so we've got a shredder. All right, looks good. We've got a pump right there. I will take that. We've got a converter right there, so I'll take that. And it wants me to put my stuff into storage back on my ship, I guess. Okay. Uh, 
I think I hear more of them outside. I'm not a fan of how difficult they're making this. I think they just need to accept that, like, I'm rolling up in here and I'm jacking your stuff and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, is there anything aside of here? There's some pipes, there's some sulfur, and there's a periscope. I'd love to have that. What else you got? What else you got? Some shotgun shells, a storage chest, and two module repair kits. Sounds good. You guys got anything else hiding around here? They do have a storage on the ceiling. That's pretty crafty. What's inside of here? We got some bolts and some other stuff. Can I stack up any of this stuff for more space? There we go. Okay. So I think we effectively have all of their stuff in our inventory now. And I think it's time for me to go. Let's get the hell out of here. We've committed our crime of villainy and our wanton looting of their ship. Uh, we've destroyed their ability to reproduce, which means that we have quite literally kicked them in the digital nads. It's time for us to go. Coming back on our drill ship right here, it wants me to place the stuff that I just robbed from their drill ship inside my drill ship. God, you love to see these turrets just rock. No, leave it down, leave it down. I love how just like analog everything is in this game. Like every single object in this game looks like you could lose a finger. And honestly, I am down for that level of like aesthetic design. Like I, I want this whole thing to look like you can lose a finger around here. All right, so we've got our drill core over here. We got the new items, so we put that in there. We've got the shredder, and then we've also got the converter. So there it is. Do I want to go underground? I don't know if I want to go underground. Either way, inside my ship, let me show you around. This is my workbench. This is my, like, production thingy. It's kind of like a smelter. Like, I don't know exactly what it is, but, like, it produces stuff from other stuff. And when it comes out, it's all hot and boily, and you definitely don't want to lick it. Okay, I've learned that the hard way. Uh, this over here is my ship storage slot. We've got a little cabinet over here, dude. We've got our ammunition and everything bumping on this side, brother. We're, we got, we got, you know, like 10 reloads up inside of here, and I'm okay with that. We'll throw that over there, and then let me just kind of sort out our inventory ever so slightly. Dude, I have so much copper and we should probably do something with that let's go back over here and I'm just gonna tell it to make copper for days man yeah just keep just keep bumping it dude there we go yeah take it all are we all out of energy or something no nah, we still well it's kind of decreasing could probably be better. We do have to pay attention to our power levels and stuff like that, otherwise bad things are going to happen. Uh, at the top of the screen, you'll see one of the main mechanics of the game is called the volcano eruption. Uh, every now and again, the volcano that's like over there. Say hello to the volcano, kids. Uh, the volcano over there every now and again is going to uh, belch fire and pain and brimstone all over us. And so I would suggest that you not be on the surface when that happens. Uh, if you are on the surface when that takes place, I can virtually assure you that you are going to have a bad time, little bro. You're going to have a really, really bad time. All right, we got 700 rounds inside the turret. Stack all that stuff up right there. And... I guess I don't have the energy to make more copper ingots right now. Yeah, I think we got to wait for the steam unit to do more fun things like, you know, make more steam. How much do I have in there? Let's top it off, shall we? There we go. We'll throw that in there. We can always rob from the coffers later on if we need a little bit more for crafting or anything else. I do think we're probably going to need... We're probably going to need, like, a bit more. I do have a storage module right here. Chances are that I could probably place it around... I know when I played this before, you could put it inside the ceiling if you wanted to. Honestly, that little rack right there works for me. Yeah. And then we can also we can change the display right here if we want to, so it sort of implies what's inside of there. There we go. So see what I mean? Now we know that parts go inside of here, so we can throw all of our parts and things in here for, like, sorting. Uh, I think that's actually a really, really good quality of life thing, being able to, like, customize and sort of design what little symbol is on your storage. Like a lot of games, they let you color your storage, but after that, they don't let you go much further. This game, I like that they let you put little icons and stuff on all of it, like with little LEDs or whatever. So it's building up a little bit more energy. It looks like there's some other locations around. So like, when I came back over here, it looked like there was some spots that we could kind of like loot. And I think that sounds like a really dope idea. So let's go do that. Yeah, there's a little icon over here with like a test tube, so I'm sort of wondering 
if I can get some kind of object here that's gonna help me like upgrade the dr the drill ship and make it more rad. It's been so long since I played the game last that I don't even like remember the progression of the game. Like I I remember adding extra segments and stuff to the drill ship, but I'm thinking I might stream this game for a couple of days and just get like really deep down into it and, and like see how developed it has been. So anyways, swing through my stream in the days following this going live, and uh, maybe that's what we'll play around with. What is this over here? Oh, we got some stuff. We got some thingies. Yeah. Okay. All right. I always need more coal, man. This entire game runs off of coal and steam. So, like, the more old, uh, if you know what coal is, coal is basically, it's plant material that falls down to the bottom of an anoxic bog, and then it gets overlaid by sediment, and it gets compressed. Uh, and so, anyways, it can't rot because... It can't rot because there's no oxygen. So what ends up happening is it gets compressed and the heat and everything else from the compression basically wood gasifies it. Oh, it's another drill ship. I don't see any bots around. Okay, they're over there. I'm going to break in. Oh, they know I'm here. Ow. Oh, they closed the door on me. There we go, there we go, there we go. Finish him off. There we go, he's down. Alright, robot's dead. Uh, let me heal myself real fast. Because bullets hurt me a lot more than they hurt robots, I'll tell you that. And then we need to break this door so it doesn't go underground with us inside of it. It can't submerge without a door. And I'm a little bit worried it's going to take me down into, like, the asshole of Hades if I don't stop it from doing it manually. Oh, do they have one of those production units in here, though? I got to kill this, too. Hold on. We got to kill this first. This is far more important. There we go. I don't want them to respawn. I'd rather not deal with that. Okay, so what do they have inside of here? Uh, inside their storage. Oh, there's all kinds of goodies up in here. There's a coal power plant upgrade module. Wait, this looks like the stuff that I put in on my ship. Is this the stuff? Ah, oh, hey, 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 hey. Listen, man. Listen. Oh, is there's another one up here? Okay, they got two of them then. Two of the little respawn arenas, man. Let's kill it off. Let's get rid of it. Don't, don't close up, dude. I'm coming. Uh, you can't close up on me like that. It's not going to work. All right, so we've got a controller custom. We've got scrap metal. That's fine. We've got some bolts. Okay. We've got some scrap metal. Stack that up. We've got a module repair unit. We've got a breach replacement for when a hole is in the fuselage. Okay. I have no idea what some of these modules are. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna jack all these for everything that they've got because honestly, I don't know if this is the stuff from like I don't know if all the drill. It doesn't seem to me that that's the way that it would work. Like all the drill ships have like a shared storage in them. But there we go. Uh, we have jacked them for every last bit of their paper out here, and it's time for us to get lost. I'm going to head back to my ship because we got an eruption in six minutes. We're going to dive down beneath the surface when that comes along. And then, oh, what does that symbol mean right there, dude? Looks like it's like a gear production center or something. Oh, yeah. Well, we, but let's, let, let, let's be satisfied with our thievery for right now because we're, like, running off in the middle of the night like a crackhead. just like... Well, like, all the stuff we stole off of their ship. And so, like, I think we'll just kind of head back to our base and, like, take a second to fully process the crime that we just perpetrated. So it looks like I can strap this controller thing on over here. I don't really know what it does. But I guess we can go inside and look and just, like, see how it affects things. Uh, I guess I could just take that module straight from their ship and slap it onto mine. What does it do? Oh, it's like back... Is that the... Wait, hold on. Oh, it's not the controller custom. So what we put on there, I think, is the efficiency upgrade. I think. 
Either way, let's throw a little bit more coal inside it here. We're gaining some steam pressure. We'll throw a few more of these level one parts in here, just in case there's any spicy research that we want to do. And dive, dive, dive. Arrgh! Well, that was satisfying. All right, so we're diving right now. As soon as this goes underground, I assume it's going to give me a prompt for what we should be doing next. Because honestly, I don't really know. Um, you know, World War I technology in a post-apocalyptic future, like, use the steering wheel to travel. This guy right here, oh. Okay. Oh, and we can just, like, drill around. Gotcha. I see. Okay, it wants me to come up right here. I don't know if I, like, want to go to the surface. We're about to have, like, an eruption. And so... Oh, there's also a little bad guy right there. Man, I'm about to deploy turrets on him. Oh, we're about to scuff up that blue shirt he's wearing. He doesn't even know, dude. It's time for us to get down in town, clown. Hop out the ship. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Deploy the guns. Let him have the turret. Let him smell it. Let him feel the cordite. There we go. Deploy that thing. Something tells me they are not crazy happy with my arrival. Luckily, they go down to like one bullet to the head, so... I'm not that worried about what they're going to try to do to me. Uh, so I, I think I got to answer the phone. We got caught up in a gunfight, and gunfights notoriously ruin... It's like, they, 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 they notoriously ruin um, phone calls. Alright, so they want me to gather some destroyed modules. Okay, and they want me to research production intel. Gotcha. Alright, well I'll take that, and I'll take that. Let's see, a research production schematics. Okay, alright. Fair enough. Uh, so it wants me to build some thingies for right now. Oh, yeah, dude, the volcano's about to erupt. It does kind of look like it's got an upset tummy, man. It looks like it's got Gurdon and it ate too much pizza. That's what volcanoes are. I was a geologist. It's what happens when the Earth eats too much pizza without taking its omeprazole, dude. That's, like, that's entirely what causes volcanic eruptions in case you weren't wanting. Or in case you didn't know. Like, that's your science with Splattercat for the day. Uh, let's close that, and I guess we'll go back down beneath the surface where it's nice and safe. Yeah, it looks like it's about to be pretty bad out here. Yeah, that's obviously a little bit unpleasant. I'm going to take a rough guess and say that uh, you probably get yourself crispified if you stay out there. It'd be like a Pompeii situation. And like, you know, not the not the song. That, uh, 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 not that song different song. It's more of a song like, ah, I'm burning, I'm dying, my skin is coming off like the tender chicken skin off of a deep fried chicken leg, ah. All right, back up to the surface after our eruption, and yeah, it looks kind of hazardous to breathe out here. It's probably pretty deeply unpleasant. I would guess that you've got some emphysema related things going on. Uh, we need sulfur, like very, very badly. So if I could track down some sulfur, I think that would be good. Like, I'm going to go for the objectives that it wants me to go for, and then I think I'm just going to pick up resources on the way. It's weird that the trees regrow so quickly. Well, like, you would think an ash cloud like this would block out, like, all light. And these guys need UV right here in order to function. Oh, there's some kind of terrifying hell glow going on over here. I'm sure nothing bad will happen in the wake of a terrifying hell glow. I'm a scared. Oh, it's lava, and I almost walked into it, dude. Okay, all right, fair enough. Fair enough. There are open lava flows. If you've never been around an open lava flow before, it is one of the most unbelievable, surreal, like, your brain can't wrap around how hot it would be to stand right here. Like, legitimately, this is like video game logic, dude. Uh, you, could, you could never be this close to a volcano in real life. Like, ever. Like, without one of those big tin suits on. Uh, like, I don't know if you've seen those before, but volcano researchers, vulcan uh, volcanologists, they wear those big reflective suits. Dude, it's so hot. Like, I've been near a lava flow before, and 
unbelievable. Like, it's hard to describe the heat. Like, it, it's... It, it's so intense that, like, you just... You gotta get away from it. Like, I was next to a lava flow that was basically like a little creek of lava. You know, probably about, like, two feet wide flowing down that way, dude. And, like, the unbelievable heat that was coming off of that thing was just like, oh my god. Like, you got within about ten feet of it, and it felt like it was gonna crisp the skin off your body. It was bad. <laughs> Ooh, got him with that little head tap right there. Got him with that little cheeky, breaky headshot. Alright, so what it wants me to steal... Actually, we're gonna call this salvaging. Uh, we're gonna call this recovering. Uh, we're gonna grab that guy right there, so it's a production module of some kind. I don't know if I can break down this other machinery that's over here. Honestly, we don't really need more brass. Like, I, I don't think we need any more of it. What I need is sulfur. It looks like the other thing that we're trying to steal is over this way. So let's get after it. Hopefully I've got enough ammo in reserve. To where whatever fight is waiting for us over there, it isn't too bad. There's sulfur right there next to the next to the lava. We'll go grab it. But yeah, I've had the distinct displeasure of being near lava. And it's pretty miserable. It's it is an almost otherworldly heat. Like you try to describe it to people, but unless you've like stood next to it, like it's not even like sticking your face near like an oven. Like it's it's like being in an oven. But, like, an oven that's been put all the way into max, like, clean mode. It's just... Whoo! Like, you just kind of feel yourself backing up from just the overpowering strength of the heat that's coming off the lava. It's bad. If you don't know the difference between magma and lava, lava's on the surface. That's lava right there. Magma's underground. You can't see it. If it makes you feel any better, I've decided on a name for my drill ship. I'm calling it the Chonk Tonk from now on, dude. It's the Chonky Tonky, bro. Alright, I don't know what's waiting for us over here. Probably something bad. It's never something good. We're not going to come over this hill and get teddy bears and cotton candy. We're probably going to get shot in the face. Sounds like they're over here. I'm just going to kind of cheeky peek this corner. Nothing so far. Does this open? Oh, it does. i got to break it, I think. Oh, and there's a drill ship over there, too. Okay. Oh, there he is. All right, boys. Oh, my. Okay. I saw another shotgunner over here, too. I don't think he's dead. There we go. Now he's dead. All right, let's see if we can get in here. Hey. Looks like there's a little area somebody was using to survive down here. Workbench. Don't know how helpful that's going to be. There's a research module. Okay. Stack everything up. I don't know if I need another storage chest, but I'll take it. Is there anything worth recovering over here? I already have the drill ship core, so I don't think we need it. I don't know what this thing does. Oh, it produces intel. I bet you I'm learning to produce one of these guys right here so that I can produce intel inside my own base to unlock new technologies. And how much you want to bet? Oh, never mind. I just have to mine this thing. Let's do that then without getting ourselves into trouble. There we go. Oh, I'm being shot at. They've got a turret. All right, well, I got the things that I needed, so I'm getting the hell out of here. I don't know what you guys are doing, but I'm cheesing it. One thing I'm feeling out here is that the bullets do have travel time, which I'm actually really happy to see. That actually pleases me a lot. Uh, I didn't expect a game like this to be to be bullet travel, like actual bullet velocity. I figured it would just be hit scan because that's like the quick and easy solution uh, to like making a fast game, basically. But honestly, the bullets seem to have velocities and whatnot. We got a little bit more sulfur powder down here, which I'm pretty happy about. I need to make some more ammo is what I really need, but I don't think we're going to be able to do it until I get back to the ship. I've only got like a half a wheel of ammo left, and that is bad. Especially with all these dudes over here. Is there any more sulfur over here that I failed to capitalize on? Let's 
says the Chonky Tonk is under attack, so I think we should probably fall back and help out our great and powerful earthen brother. Now let's see if we can save the Chonky Tonk from taking any damage. It should have automatically deployed the turret, so it should be somewhat defended. I made sure to put a turret on each side so that no side has a blind side. Yeah, we seem to be okay. We can expect that we can inspect the damage with our uh, with our wrench over here and just kind of figure out what's going on. Uh, a little bit of damage right there. It looks like the turret took a little bit of a hit. Did any of the bulkheads or anything get hit? Yeah, it looks like they actually sprayed damage around pretty good. Nothing on that bulkhead right there. Oh wow, they actually yeah they put some serious damage on this thing. Okay. Don't love it, but it is nice to know that the enemies have bite. Nobody wants to play a boring game where the enemies aren't scary. Uh, I don't know if I need another storage chest, but I guess I'll put it in. Right here, we have what looks like... I already have one of these up here. Yeah, I already have a stats panel. Uh, custom controller, though. Can probably slot around somewhere. Yeah, we'll put that over there. I don't know what it does, but what does this do? So we can... Does it just save our game? Oh, that's cool, though. I like that the game saving is actually like a big manual switch that you have to pull. I dig that. Okay, uh, so we've got Intel production good to go. It says that I need sulfur, and I've already got sulfur queued up. Yeah, just keep mashing away. Oh, well, don't do it forever. That's probably not a good idea. Okay, I'm going to take my items right there. By the way, that little door opens, and it offers you the item. I've been using the take all button, like, this entire time. But if you exit out of that menu, that little door opens, and it puts the item in a little gripper claw right there, and you can pick up the item. Kind of a cool immersive effect, and honestly, I feel like they've done pretty well with that stuff. All right, so it wants me to... Upgrade starter production. This looks like our guy. Let's get it produced. I assume that that's costing me steam on some level. Yeah, it is costing me steam. Okay. We'll, we'll load it back up with a little bit more coal in just a minute, but it looks like it's going to take a second for this to get done. They've done a really good job with the way the machines move and everything feels interactable. And, like, I love that every single system has, like, little cogs that are kind of, like, causing this entire apparatus to move. And then you can tell that there's, like, something going on with it. Like, it doesn't just sit there with a progress meter. It does stuff. All right. So he probably wants us to install it. So they want me to make some storage modules. Okay. And then they also want me to do module-based production. Okay. Is that something that I just slap on here? No. So I assume that it goes in here then, maybe? So I think I'll make it a new bench or something. They want me to do copper bolts and plates. And so I, I think that's manageable. I've got lots and lots of ingots, so we'll do two more of those. One more of those right there. There we go. All right, so we've got the stuff that we need in order to make this all happen. we got to get the pump from storage. There's the pump. There's the production module right there. It's getting put together, so I assume this is going to give us some kind of foundry or something. It wants me to place it on an empty wall, but I'm running out of empty walls here. Maybe the game didn't expect me to place quite so many uh, beefy things. Okay, so it wants me to get copper tubes, sulfur powder, and some coal to make a production station. I kind of want to go explore more, though, dude. I kind of want to get out here and take a look around the landscape and actually take my time. I love this little drill ship right here. Like, I was kind of on the fence about this game when it first, first came out. But honestly, like, over the years, they've really made the drill ship into something impressive that you kind of want to look at. I definitely want to play more, so I think I'll do it on Twitch. Uh, so anyways, if you thought that this was going to wet your whistle and you want to see a little bit more, I'll be live on Twitch TV Splattercat Gaming uh, the day that this goes live to play some more Vulcanoids, okay? Uh, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Thanks for stopping on in. I'll see you tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet. Bye, everybody.